Howdy everybody. Welcome back to the top of the hill. We got our house looking nice. House is looking nice. We're building like a sim like you ever play Monopoly? It looks yeah. just like a Monopoly house. Really? Yeah. You oh know. yeah, cause yeah. Yeah. I see what you get. Out of. I mean, not yet. Once we get the rest of this here green stuff on there, yeah, it'll look just like a little Monopoly house. How much you got paid to get one of them? Like two hundred dollars? Yeah. Unless you, unless you just take one out of the box when nobody's looking, oh. just put it on your property. See, that's why. That's why you can't play Monopoly. <laughs> I love Monopoly. I really Never do. know. I always get the hundred dollar bill and put it in my pocket first first out of the hole so then i know i at least have a hundred dollars when i when everybody's looked around and you ain't got no money left i'm like still in the game <laughs> wow you got a hundred dollars left and there is the the tip of the day folks yeah. Yeah. stick a hundred dollars in your pocket all right should we turn around? around here and show them we got Look all the that. roof on and now we've got the almost all the siding on I know, I know. It looks like we have no idea what we're doing, and we're just throwing boards together. But there's, there's a reason for all this stuff. But what's the reason? Well, I don't know, but oh. there is a reason. I mean, that's the front. This is the front of the house that has the dining room. In. Yeah, this yeah. is my dining room here. Yeah, sticking we, out. We probably haven't talked about that before. Um, but Stephen wanted to feel like he was eating on his front porch while. He's in his dining room. Yeah. Yeah. So this square that sticks off the front of the house is his dining room. And the porch will continue all the way around and it'll go around the corner. It'll be a big L shaped porch. I like it. But we gotta get the concrete poured before we can build the porch. Yes. So But that's gonna be very soon. Yeah, we're supposed we got to our plumbing done. Come in here, we'll show you the plumbing. My buddy Josh. My Shout lifelong, out to lifelong buddy. We've been buddies <laughs> since we he always says pooping orange. <laughs> that ain't that ain't appropriate. Though. That ain't appropriate. Yeah, I'll take that back. No, I don't. <laughs> okay. It's a little dark in here. But I think we're gonna keep all these we, we could cut our our windows out, but I think we're gonna keep them all on, like covered up right now, because the concrete people said that concrete concrete <laughs> cures faster if it's got wind and stuff going everywhere so we're going to keep it sealed up and maybe it'll cure slower cure you always, you always want concrete to cure as slow as possible yeah because if it cures fast it cracks and i got the roof taped up and it does you can it doesn't even leak i mean this thing's already oh, that's impressive watertight yeah that that zip stuff is uh that's where it's at. We're, it says on it that it's warranted for 30 years or something like that. Yeah. So we're thinking about waiting about 20 years before we ever put a roof on this place. Hmm. Interesting. Because, I mean, it, it's doing great. It's man. doing good. So maybe Stephen can just save some of that money, put it into his race car, and yeah. put a roof on this place in, you know, 20 years when this stuff starts to wear out. I see. I tell you, it's a little boring taping all that, though. And now we got, like, a million joints to tape all the way around the whole house so maybe i'll get chris to help me on that yeah <laughs> okay let's we'll, see uh, the we can give you a tour of the house if you'd like yeah. right here this is the kitchen window this big square here we still got to cut that out but that'll be the kitchen sink <clears throat> this right here will be the living room and it'll have a big old vaulted ceiling i think uh I think from the top of the floor to the top or to the, the top of the ceiling will be what do we say like 21 feet yes yeah, it's, it's it's gonna be pretty high yeah it's very high wow and then we'll be able to put a 21 foot tall christmas tree in here wow that'll real because you like real christmas trees so i can sneeze <laughs> <laughs> If I'm not sneezing at Christmas time, then it wasn't a good tree. <laughs> yeah. Oh um, man. So that over there is like mechanical room and mud room and there's a little half bath. Over there on the back wall is Steven's master uh, bathroom. And then kind of right in this general area is the master bedroom. And those two boxes up there for the two bedrooms that are upstairs. Um, and then right here will be a loft area that will come, I guess it'll come out to like right here. Yep. So this whole area right here, all the way down the side of the house will be a big open 
loft area. And about yeah. tripped on the string. For real, about Watch did. Out. Watch out for the string. Okay. We got a booby trap around here. Yeah. Thanks. Very nice. Yep. We're getting there. And We're going to have a big fireplace right here. Big chimney. Chimney. Yep. We got to <clears throat> get all that figured out. And uh, for, for those of you that are here for the red truck updates, I'm sorry, he's making me work. So, about time. Every time I turn around, I see him walking down the hill. <laughs> oh, UPS is here, brought my headers. <laughs> but it's really close, the truck's getting really, really close. And I think it's supposed to rain for the next couple of days. So We I'm, can work in here because I, you don't get wet. I probably won't be able to work up here. So I might be able to get some stuff done on the red truck. That's aggravating. Maybe you said gravel? Yeah. Come. Yeah, we got our gravel on top of all this. Get it up to the grade. We want we need it for concrete. Okay. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna bring gravel in. We got the plastic down for the vapor barrier. And then we are going to um, put two inches of foam underneath the slab and then pour the slab. Um, and I think the concrete guy said they'll be here maybe towards the end of next week. So, and them dudes know what they're doing. Yeah, they are professionals. Yeah, we didn't we didn't mess around. No homeboy that says he knows how to pour concrete. <laughs> These dudes, they do the floors for O'Reilly's and Lowe's and Lowe's. Ooh. So yeah. they come in and in one day they are 100 percent done. They did all Dad's building in one day. Yeah, I remember that. Like the whole thing, like they, they don't come back the next day and seal it. They're sealing it that day. They they, they cut the they joints it and finished it and cut all the joints and sealed it all in one day. We'll have to be up here. We'll show them that process when they're here. Oh, you have to get up early. Yeah, you will. Oh, okay, I'm <laughs> out. <laughs> you can't sleep in when they come. They, when they the, set up the time lapse. Yeah, we might do that. When we first started talking to them, I was telling them, I was like, now this is, you know, when we were building that one down there, I was telling them, I was like, now this is a big job. Like, you're going to need a lot of guys. And they were like, oh, okay, how, how big is it? And I said, well, it's inside, it's 6,000 square feet. And they were like, oh, okay, well, we have the, the manpower and the equipment to pour 100,000 square feet in a day. <laughs> Chris is acting like he had a big job. I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Just kidding. This is kind of just a little side job. For you, guys. <laughs> you, can, you can send like half your guys yeah. home. Then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. man. But they said um, that they were just doing a project before that one. And they said as quickly as the concrete trucks could get there and dump it out, they were leveling it and finishing it. Yeah. They're, they're it's impressive. It is. It is impressive. I've seen a lot of non-professional concrete people. And uh, these guys are, they're good. So. And, and it's good that we're using them because the concrete will be the finished floor in this house. Um, he's not going to put any type of carpet or hardwood or anything over it. It's going to be, it's going to be concrete. It's going to be polished concrete. So it should look, should look pretty cool, but you really want somebody that knows what they're doing if that's going to be your If you're going to look floor. at it for the rest of your life, you just be sitting there on the couch and be like, good grief, look at that big dip in the floor. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Stuff okay. you're going to look at for the rest of your life, you kind of want it nice. Yeah. That's why I hired Chris. Yeah. <laughs> there you He's go. He's going to make this place look just perfect. Yep. Well, it's coming along. Yep. Your, your dining, you have the best view. The yeah, well, dining room is going to be nice. We'll come eat with you. That'd be good. Yeah. I'll, first meal will be on me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, his dining room has three big five-by-five five windows. There's a big window. There will be a window here when we get the wall built, and then there's a window there too. So it'll be it'll be like you're sitting out on the porch. Yeah. That's what we want. It'll be pretty neat. Very cool. Okay, so next time I come up here, it'll Who be. Who knows? You don't come up here very often. <laughs> yeah. It'll be done. No. Last We're time just... we saw you was two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, if y'all want more updates, then drop a comment below and tell Hannah to get to work. Easy now. Because we're up here all the Be time. Easy yeah. now. And Hannah's the one down there trimming her fingernails. And... <laughs> no, Steven's the one trimming his fingernails. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm still good from the races. Yeah. I need to drink more milk. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, y'all. Well, I guess we'll do, maybe we'll switch to red truck here before the weekend's over. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give you some red truck updates. Oh, good grief. <laughs> It's a what? It's a wacker packer. Mm. Or plate tamper, if you ask him at the rental place. <laughs> he is a certified wacker packer operator. Really, no. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It, it's a nice machine. I don't know what kind of technology is in it, but it's, <laughs> it's high tech because it. It's just got a motor and it just beats the ground, you know but it they, projects itself forward. You know what they did? What? You're supposed to balance your crankshafts. I bet they intentionally made that crankshaft out of balance. Yeah. So that, that engine just sitting there going duh, 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 all the time. That's what it's doing. But it's forward. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what happened. It's cool. It's cool. Well, Mr. Wacker Packer definitely had a good invention. <laughs> <laughs> and we got gravel today. We made a video without you, him, so you. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm old news. Yeah, yeah, I got Chris on the tractor. We figured we figured you wouldn't come up here because you never do. Really? So. Because I'm not here right now. Well. Hmm. Okay. Get back to it. Get back to it. It ain't gonna whack or pack itself. No, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Big day, guys. The uh, old red truck, I think, is finally going to get the heartbeat put in it. It's off the engine stand, and looks like it's about ready to drop in. Oh, and check out those headlights. Those look a lot better than the old yellow ones. I, I turned them on the other night in the dark, and they just look like a, a glowing candle. But those... Uh, it's amazing the little things you can do to a truck that helps it just look new. <clears throat> you still got to do something with the bumper, but today, now that I've got most of the wiring stuff figured out and kind of how I want it, I think we're going to drop that thing in there. All right, so the motor's in. Um, I don't know why, but I thought this process of rehabbing this truck and everything was going to take like a really, really long time. And I guess it's it has taken some time. But after a vehicle set for ten or fifteen years, however long it's set, um, I don't know. I guess I I guess I expected that it might be like this fall before I actually got to drive the truck. But the engine's in it and now it's just kind of tying up a bunch of loose ends um i ordered some headers for it 
about a month or so ago and just tried to put those on a little while ago. And I don't know if the headers moved in the jig. They were like speed engineering or something, some sort of cheap brand. Um, I'm not sure if they moved in the jig or what when they welded them up, but the flange of the header was touching the, the ear on the block. So they, they wouldn't even bolt up. But so I got those sent back, got another set of orders. So that'll hold me up just a little bit. But now I'm just kind of working on buttoning up a bunch of loose ends and getting all the brackets and the hoses and, you know, all that, all that fun stuff ran. So the heartbeat of America is in the heartbeat of America. It is, uh, it's in there and it fits great. I just got this little intake pipe stuck on there temporarily. Uh, I gotta figure out how I wanna do that. I'm probably gonna bring a filter over in this area, out from behind the radiator and just kinda stick it behind a headlight. But just waiting on some headers to go down in there. Then I can slap the spark plugs on, but got most of the Holly stuff hooked up. Got some fuel lines ran. We have uh, the fuel pressure sensor there. And still got a bunch of kind of loose wires to tidy up. But for the most part, the engine is in. And we got the dual fans. I'm pretty sure those are going to really keep this thing cool. Now, now I'm going to start working on this um, AC bracket. You know, because you got to have, you got to have air conditioning if you're going to cruise around in the summertime. So, gonna get started on that. Why'd you zoom in on my wheel? Now the, everybody will see. Is that the best you can do? I guess. I mean, this is going on like a show truck. I mean, my stomach kind of hurts. What kind of excuse is that? I don't know. That's what my welding teacher told me one time. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said he's... <laughs> he may be watching this. That'd be all right. I doubt he is. <laughs> he said, good excuses don't make good welders. Oh. So, and then one time I, had, I was like, hey, come in here and show me how to do this. And then he came in there and it looked like doo-doo. And mine looked better <laughs> than what his was. And I was wanting him to show me how to make mine look better. And then he was like, hey, man, my, <clears throat> my stomach's hurting like crazy today. <laughs> and I was like, good excuses don't make good welders. We never did get along. I wonder why. Yeah. Man, is this, you putting a turbo kit on your truck? Yeah, I wasn't going to tell you. I know this is going to be just like a cam only pickup truck but i decided to put a turbo on it yeah you're gonna need every bit of turbo you can get you reckon yeah just keep, make... keep up with that turd yeah it's gonna make all the power all right look the engine's got the bag off of it i know that's gotta be getting close right yeah i'm getting there all right
<laughs> you didn't feel me standing no, here? No, I didn't feel you standing here. <laughs> I've been here for a long time. Oh, I got my wiring brain on. All outside information does not come in. Oh, really? You looked perplexed about something yeah, here. I'm, I'm not really, but... Yeah, it's a uh, dipstick. Still just waiting on headers. And uh, this thing is pretty much ready to drive down the road. Got the air conditioning on it. I think that was kind of the last thing I left off on. Got this sweet ICT billet bracket on. So I just need to charge the air conditioning and that should work. Um, got the intake pipe finished up, got the filter on it, and got Steven to weld that up for me. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, so while I was waiting on the headers, uh, I decided it'd be a good, a good time to get the interior back together. I was going to say, when I came out here earlier, you were barefoot. I was in the barefoot. Shop. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't want to have my boots on with the fresh carpet, you know. <laughs> you got to take your shoes off. So I was crawling in and out of the truck about 1,300 times, um, cutting carpet and getting all that done. So, check it out. Okay. Got the carpet in it, got the seat back in it. Seat clean. Did you did you show yeah. them? So we're gonna give Justin Willett a shout out right here because I'm as you can see on this truck, I've replaced most everything. I, I have a problem with things being dirty and old and just not working great. Uh, but one thing I did want to reuse was the seat. Not that there's anything special about it. I just didn't really want to put a new seat in it right now. Um, that's something that I can you know get four bolts out and swap it out down the road but i wanted to reuse it so i called justin um and i said hey can you clean this thing and when i said that i didn't really realize how dirty it was <laughs> but he's got one of them fancy extractor machines that like sprays cleaning solution on and sucks it up at the same time and i think he filled up his um his bucket of just straight solid brown water oh, about awful. 30 times. Did we take um, a picture of that? I don't even know if we he, did. He took a picture of it, so we'll put okay. the before and after in there. So, y'all know all about this truck and how dirty it's been. Well, this is the first pass on the bench seat that came out of it. It, I think it's solid. <laughs> it's solid mud, I don't even know. That is horrible. Man, that, that's bad. I think the truck might smell good in there. So if, if you're in Haywood County, contact Justin Willett for all your detailing needs. Um, he, he knocked it out of the park on the seat. It's way cleaner than it was. Um, he also cleaned Hannah's car, Ooh, yeah. which is an extreme mom mobile. <laughs> and it had like Cheez-Its and Skittles and just everything smushed down into the crevices. And that thing looks about like it did when it rolled off the showroom floor. It, yeah, for sure. He he really, really did a good job on that one. He just cleaned the seat, but he did a good job on the seat, but he, he does whole cars. So uh, we'll put his information here and- Shine bright. Yeah, shine auto bright detailing. auto detailing. So if you need your car cleaned or your RV, he doesn't like RVs, but he <laughs> did Jeff's today. Look at this, should we show him? Well, yeah. the, the front end of this thing, look. Yeah, he completely, um, buffed and waxed the whole front end of the truck. I mean, it is and shiny. It was it was in really bad shape before, so it looks a hundred times better now than it did. But yeah, give them a call. And it smells good. It That's smells what I good. like. I like like the, and then the carpet. Yep, carpet's in. Got most of the trim pieces back in. Um, got the shifter in. That's a huge thing. So the four wheel drive one, I don't, I don't have that connected to the transfer case yet, but this one, that one's connected to the transmission. So that's exciting. Is Isla gonna ride in the middle and you're gonna yep. show her how to- Look, just sit right there and- Shift. Yep. This is where it begins. It's where it began for me. <laughs> 
Might as well begin there for her too. But I've got all the fluids in it, oils in the engine. Um, so I think I told you guys that I swapped out the front and rear gear for a 410. It had a 342 in it and the rear gear was missing a few teeth so it needed to be replaced anyway. So I went ahead and put a 410 in it. So got fluid in the front and rear differential, got fluid in the transfer case, got fluid in the transmission. So really just about all it lacks is putting headers on, putting some spark plugs in it and it should fire up. Okay. I'm kind of in a, uh, a dilemma with myself. It's kind of silly to say, but I don't really want to start the truck until I get the full exhaust ran. Um, I bought some sweet mufflers. They're, they're spin techs and heard a lot of good things about these. So I'm going to build um, a complete exhaust kit for it myself. Um, got some three inch pipe leaned over in the corner, but I want to run true duels, three inch pipe. I got two of those mufflers and I don't know. I'm just picky. I don't really like the way things sound open headers. So mm. I don't know. I might start it. I might not. I might wait, but I need to get it on the lift over there. So we're going to have to evict your dad's car. I've been married to him for 10 years. He's got to start it. I probably will. I'll probably start it just for the fact that I don't want to have to push it around in the shop to get it on the lift. <laughs> I'll probably just drive it onto the lift. But it's, um, yeah, it's making progress. It's making progress. And it's a rainy Saturday. Yeah, it was, well, we told them we would give them a red truck update because they're supposed to rain. So yeah. what yeah. has Steven been doing? He's yeah. been doing his welding duties. Cause he's, he's, he's got this ginormous gate to build for some homeowners association. Yeah. So he's building his house in the day and welding by night, his day yes. job at night. Yes. And I'm building his house of a day and building a red truck of a night. <laughs> right. But on Saturdays when it rains all day, I get to spend all day on the red truck. Yep. So I've made a lot of headway on it today. And I don't know, maybe in the next video it'll be running. Okay. Just waiting on some headers. Waiting on some headers. All right.